the residents living along the banks of River Osu in Oludrisel, Ariwarawad in Arua City, have expressed worry over lack of proper maintenance on the pipeline transporting sewage from the city lagoon to the waste treatment plant in Dadamu. According to the locals, the leakage from the pipes is endangering their lives as they risk being affected by diseases as a result of pollution from the leakage pouring into the river. We are really annoyed, we are not happy, and this is, this is not the only port that we are what? We are suffering. Also down there, we are, ha we are having like five, mm, five pods, mm, which are actually people are killing us. This is the same water we're using for washing, even our kids drinking sometimes. Because we have, we're having few water points for drink. The small water we're having here, I'm asking people after here, you can come and capture what we're taking there. It is mixed up with this, with, with this water here. And these children come and touch this water every day. And after people promising us that they would drill for them some water aside to use and tell us where this sewage is connecting us, from which point, and how is it going to work? Am I going to go to your office first? That it may work. My children is not coming to this thing. And look. This is something coming from something to corrupt this water, and I don't have a big clean water to drink. Ada Kukefa Wilson, a lock of the area, who also doubles as the former S3 chairperson for Dadam Sub County, says if National Water and Sewage Corporation fails to improve on the pipeline, they will join hands with the community members to drag the body to court for the health risks they have been subjected to. No one is now using this water once this thing starts. And we have been reporting this. I think this is not the first time we have been reporting it. Once we now report and nobody turns up i think we end up calling what people to come and gather and we see way forward for what we're supposed to do otherwise we are very sorrow for this but we are not now going to stop here we are going to mobilize the communities and take national water to court this is already evidence we already have the evidence as we are mobilizing the communities up to where the sewage stops the number we will register we will register as many we can we're taking national water to court for the risk we are undertaking and we don't know how long we may live ahead now. So that's the only thing, they have to compensate to bury us before we die. Similarly, Anguio Godfrey, the councillor representing Ivanov to Arua City, asked the body to ensure faster response to the matter or else risk facing resistance from the community members. So for me, I want to say for, from, this initiative, from this engagement, if National Water and Sewage Corporation cannot finally rectify these breakages, the entire community we are going to gather ourselves. I will lead, I will lead them. Uh, and say we don't want I will lead them. We are going to move up to your office if you need to be. We shall remove these pipes ourselves. We are going to remove these pipes down. And then find your way. If they can fly, if your sewage can fly from where you are collecting it up to where you are receiving it down there, fine. Because what you have done is a disservice. There is no service that you have done to us at all. They say water is life. And now National Water and Sewage Corporation of Uganda is telling us that water is death. However, in response to the concerns raised by the community members, Ronald Bate, the head of Tekken Corporations, working with National Water and Sewage Corporation Arua Office, called for calm among us the members of the public as they look forward to addressing the gaps to ensure the communities are not affected by the project. As an engineer, I'm here to, to see how things can be put right. If there is a lose, I'm going to make all possible ways on how best things can be put what to be put right. Report is going to be taken to my supervisors and everything. However, today before we leave the grounds, we want to make sure that this chamber is cleared and the overflow is cleared. It is my humble request. Among us, the other challenges the community have raised concern over is the change in the design of the program and lack of access to clean and safe drinking water which National Water and Sewage Corporation promised to address in the shortest time possible. Farish Majid, Nusra Gramia, West Nile TV, Nalkast.